As I said, it's always going to be again. My name is Tato. On this video, I will show you how you can change your logo into a 3D uh, motion graphics. And don't worry about that. Uh, Windows, which is going to remove those activate message. Let's For now, let's just go to uh, Photoshop and go to Files and New. Uh, also, you're going to set your settings and make sure you rename that as a logo PNG and then press OK or enter. Then we're just going to uh, disable this eye. I think you call it an eye and add another layer and just go to uh, icon there and select uh, your icon or create your logo in this case because I don't want to waste my time anymore. So I'm just going to create this simple design. I'm just gonna go there and add color which is red let's make it red yeah it works yeah great it's just gonna adjust it a little bit that looks great and then we're gonna go to files and save as then we want we want to save this as a PNG just gonna scroll down and save it I rename that as a logo PNG and save uh, click OK and minimize that uh, there is our logo. We're just gonna take that logo and grab it and drop it into the project panel on After Effects and uh, create an, a new composition. In this case, you're gonna use the same settings as I am using the settings. I'm uh, gonna rename that as a main composition. I'll uh, use the same settings and make that full. I thought it's gonna be 30. FPS make the background black and click OK. We're just gonna add another composition. Go into composition and add uh um make the changes of sizes and make it 600. Uh just gonna make it 600 uh there and make it 600 on the width and the height. Uh click OK. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh go to composition. Uh, click new composition and rename that as a logo composition all right um, make sure the size is 600 and 600 and we're just gonna go to a uh, panel and drag the logo into the logo composition uh, mm, that looks good just gonna scale it up by pressing s on a keyboard um, scale it up yeah and adjust it a little bit there it is and let's go back to the main composition uh, there we are we're just gonna grab the logo composition and drag it into the timeline and we're just gonna create the solid um and make sure it's white and uh use the same settings there we're gonna rename that as a background uh looks good okay and uh, drag that and put it on uh, underneath uh, make sure you you make this uh, logo composition uh, 3d just gonna go to effects and search for exposure uh, scroll down I don't see it yeah scroll down and then drag that into a logo composition uh, let's get and make that negative one uh, yeah, that works. Uh, just gonna press P on the keyboard and we're gonna put our expression. Uh, please copy the expression as I'm writing it down. I don't want to call it out. Uh, let's add that. Uh, yep copy the expression now, now we're done you're just gonna click on the layer and uh, close that um, that's, um, let's duplicate this into maybe 30 let's duplicate this guys so what you're gonna do is you're gonna duplicate this layers into somewhere around 30 layers because we want to make this 3d obviously um yeah there we go 
Let's duplicate. Oh, that looks good. Should we keep going on? Um, I think it works. So, I we're gonna go to the last layer and we're gonna search for drip shadows. Uh, try get into the last layer and we gonna adjust the the that. Yeah, to left. Thinks, I think it looks good. Yeah, it works for me. Um, just scroll up on the first layer and we're just gonna edit the camera and leave the settings as it is uh, for the camera uh, looks good and go to the first layer and you wanna add uh, I mean uh, go to the first layer you wanna add a camera you're gonna go to the icon just to see your 3D um, there it works and then what we want to do is go to uh, and search for sweep on the presets and drag it into the second layer and um, that we just gonna adjust it a little bit just to make it look reality I mean we want to make it look natural like yeah so we're gonna make it down and that one works yeah we're just gonna take the and then we're gonna put it there then you wanna go to the layer and open up effects and open up and make sure you keyframe the, the center and then go to at least two seconds and um, add another keyframe yeah there it is my computer is so slow so we're just gonna make it quarter um now we're gonna make it on maybe somewhere around one minute because my computer is a bit slow so we're gonna close that up right and what we want to do is come to background I want to search for a uh, gradient ramp so I don't find it where is it oh search for ramp oh good and we drag that into background and we wanna drag that into the center oh, looks good I want to make swap and we also gonna make that radial ramp that looks gonna look like that we're gonna drag that out 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 ah just to make it look good and yeah it looks better in the way uh, now we wanna play this a little bit and see okay let's Let's add a position keyframe um, for the motion graphics. Do you call it motion graphics or anything? But for 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 <laughs> uh, for your logo to move, just to so we're gonna track that. So what we wanna do is. We want to track that down. We're going to press the keyframe for the position. And we're going to take it maybe close to. I want to make it like this in the first keyframe. And maybe you put it on two and just going to scale that. I'm sorry. I mean, we're going to position this. Um, let's see how it looks. Uh, doesn't look that bad but I feel like we could uh, make the sweep a little bit um, uh, go somewhere around maybe half a minute I don't know yeah I mean a second so we're just gonna drag that somewhere around here in the middle of 
Yeah. Now it looks so better than what I thought. So we're gonna click a right click and go to easy f ease. Uh, we're gonna play that again. Let's see how it looks. It looks much more better. So what you wanna do is you wanna pre-compose all of this, right? Just to uh, see where it's working. So you're gonna pre-compose that. I'm not gonna show you any render um, settings or how you're gonna render that, but you're gonna make sure you render. So thank you for watching this video. Please make sure that you subscribe and like and give us the comments. Um, yeah.